Good morning. Day two, sea day. Just left the cabin. We're gonna go to sea day brunch here in a little bit. We're headed up now just to get something to drink and then we're gonna make our way to the dining room here in a little bit. Sea day brunch is available in the sunrise dining room on deck three in the morning on sea days. Despite the name of brunch, the meal generally starts at 8.30 and we'll have seating up until noon. Prior to brunch, we swung by the coffee shop on deck 5 for a milkshake and specialty coffee. This was our first carnival cruise in which we had purchased the Cheers package. One hidden secret to the alcohol package is that specialty coffee and milkshakes are included. Neither Carrie nor I are big drinkers, but we enjoy the non-alcoholic part of the package. Thank you. I got up in the middle of the night and oh, yeah, that's the thought I was, I'd opened a warm Diet Coke. And so then I went to go get a second drink of my warm Diet Coke. And you know how you're really thirsty. I took a big old drink. This freaking warm beer because we're right beside it. All right, Sea Day Brunch Jax, what'd you get? Steak and eggs. Oh, yeah. Steak and eggs. Here he is. <laughs> 12 hour French toast, steak and eggs, and a cookie and ice cream for dessert. Steak and Hello. eggs. French toast, times two for us. Rainy day out here on Lido. We're taking cover under the uh, little cabana here. Contemplating getting in the pool. Someone said it was cold. I don't know about that. I like to get in a hot tub, but they are pretty cool right now. Although it was a sea day, the rain and wind kept most people inside today. The seas were a little rough, as you can see from the waves in the pool. Few people were brave enough to enter, and at one point they did end up closing the pool due to the size of the waves. The hot tubs were full much of the day and the girls loved being in them. There are two large hot tubs here on Lido Deck and they are always full of kids. If you're searching for something more grown up, you could try the aft pool or the serenity area. Our nephew Jax is probably the biggest supporter of our YouTube channel, decided that we needed some video footage from inside the pool. He's one of our best creative consultants. It rained much of the day, and high winds put a chill in the air. We were lucky to find a group of loungers on a tiered section of the pool deck that were under cover. We spent much of the day there, in and out of the hot tub, and we would cycle in and out of the area throughout the day. The rain did keep most people inside, but there were a few brave kids and adults that continued to enjoy the hot tubs. After drying off and getting ready for dinner, we headed to the comedy club. This is something that Carnival excels at, and they provide a family comedy show almost every night. The comedians were great, and the kids and adults all loved it. One of the favorite activities of Jackson, Jagger, and Milan throughout the week was dancing in the glass elevators in the lobby. On many evenings when we were at the atrium bar before dinner, they would ride the elevators up and down, dancing for the people below. They gathered quite a following and even let Mia go with them a few times. They did get nervous when people got in the elevator with them, but it never stopped the dancing. Shrimp 
cocktail, yes. cream and mushroom soup. Yes. And, uh, prime rib. Prime lobster rib tail. and a lobster tail. Yes. And then creme brulee. I'd want to cook one. And then rare. Dinner tonight was back in the main dining room. It was formal night and one of the best menus offered all week, prime rib and lobster. In the weeks leading up to our cruise, Carnival announced that they were going to start charging for the third entree at dinner. This was done in an attempt to limit food waste and recoup money. There is a $5 charge for each entree after the second one. I always order two prime ribs and a lobster tail and honestly I had no problem paying $5 for my lobster.